All right, CBT lesson for Jay again of the guitar solo to Blinded by the Light by Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Uh, you'd wanted the uh, studio version. And uh, I thought I did the studio version because it was, but what it was was a very cleaned up, edited live version and it had the video for it and everything. And um, so, anyways, you got both of them. Um, we've got the live version and the studio version. The studio version. Um, it's cool, man. You know what it reminds me of is David Gilmour a little bit. There's a lot, and I mean a lot of phase in it. So, um, you know the deal. All the notations and all that I didn't put on this one as far as this means bend and all that because you've got that on the other one. So let's jump in. I noticed the beginning is pretty clean, and at a certain point um, you can hear the gain turn up, and I notated that for you at about 344 into the song. So um, I do have it on my clean channel now, but I've got my volume back because I've got it set for at 3:44 to up the gain a little bit. Um, so it starts at 2:52. It's the standard tuning, and here we go. And I did put a lot of phase on it, as good as I can get on my Rocktron here. So there's your whole step bend, and then and then go 15, 13, 12. So we have. Thirteen, fifteen, fifteen. That's E E B. So, and then it's kind of soft too. Um, yeah, I think in the, with the mix of the other instrumentation going on, if you were to just single out the guitar, it'd be clearer on this beginning part. But I was able to get it. I can hear it fine. You know enough to do this. Um, particularly right here, subgroup two fifty nine, timestamp as well as subgroup does this and it's not very loud 13 B hammering to 15 seven times and it's not super fast it's like okay so let me see two three four five six seven and then after that seventh one pick the 13 B okay uh, timestamp 302 and these are some arpeggios through some chords he's playing way up the neck. And it's 15, 13, 14. That's E, B, and G. And go 1, 2, 3, 4 on your strings. Right? So. And then go 13, E, 10, B. Oops, I missed it. So we have... You gotta do a hand position or finger position. And you'll have the hold lines over there. In other words, don't go. Set them all down. So, same thing here. Timestamp 305 is this. Well, that's the first half of it. The next line continues it on with. So you have this. Oops. So let's do that. It's a double pull off. 13, 12, 10 on the B. Um, fingering, kind of experiment with it. You know, you can go 4, 3, 1 or 3, 2, 1. I was watching his fingers. He doesn't always use textbook fingerings. You don't have to, man. At the end of the day, play what's going to be the most comfortable for you. As long as it's not jeopardizing the riff. So pick, pull, pull. And then pick the 12B right after it. And then go 12G. Again with a bend. Again, no bend. So you have. And keep playing that run. You'll go 10, 9, 10 on the G. So we've got to shift our hand over. And then this one we need three fingers down, just like we did at the beginning of this 305 riff. Uh, pick, pull, pull. 12, 10, 9 on the G and then 10 D. Okay, riff 309 is 15 B vibrato. So you're gonna see some similar riffs here like pick, pull, pull. A lot of double pull-off techniques going on. 13, 15, 13, 12, 13 on the high E. 
and then if you use that finger layout, Jay, um, you're actually setting yourself up for the double pull off. You may want to do that. And then pick 15, pull 13 and 12, and go to 13B. Okay, then we got 15B, arrest, pull to 13, hammer 15, arrest, pull to 13, hammer to 15, arrest. Okay? Make sure you have good snaps on those pull-offs. Those volumes need to be be heard evenly. Um, 316 is our next one. This is a, I put double dots. It's going to be eight times of just pick, um, pick, pull, and then hammer pull for the sequence of the other seven. And it's just this. 15B, 13B. You're going to pick the 15. The rest is pulls and hammers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then um, we're going to continue on from there. This is still part of the 316 timestamp. 13, slide to 10. Pick the 10. Hammer 13, pull to 10, pick the 10. So it's going to be this. Once again. And then slide the 10 over to 8. Pick twice, slide to six, pick six, five, and then you're going to do pick six, pull to five. So we're going to want index and middle. So let's play that whole line there from the 13 sliding to the 10. And then 5G, slide to seven, and then timestamp 324. Jay, you want to say timestamp? It's the timestamp as well as the subgroup. You can subgroup them smaller, of course, but um, they're working out pretty good to serve the, both purposes. So after the seven slide, you'll pick it, and we're at 324. Then we're going to do this. Oops, try that again. Really cool. So you're going to go six pull to five on the B, middle and index, and then pick six eight, and you got a rest. A pre bend on fret eight on the B string, bend it a whole step, and release it. So, okay, this part six pull off to five on the B, and then knuckle shift up to five G. Don't go, try to keep it steady. Then go 8, pull to 5 on the B, 5G. So, back to the 6, 5. We're going to do that one twice, though. And then switch to 8, 5 on the high E. Pick, pull. Up to 5G. That's kind of a jump. And then shift right back down to 5E. And then back to the 6, 5. 8, 5. And then we switch to page 2. It's three pages, by the way, complete. Um, and then a few more of these little concepts. Six pull to five on the B and then the 5G. Do that riff again. So six pull to five, five G after that. And then seven pull to five on the G, pick seven on the D. So it's they're kind of similar, right? Pick, pull, up a string. Pick, pull, up a string. But also, when you hit the 7D, you'll be doing this um, half step thing. 7, 6, 5, so. Slide to 3. 3, 5, 3. You're going to pick, hammer, pull. And do a half step bend. You're bending into that. Okay, 535 on the A, 3D. Okay. And then 5 on the D, bend release, pull to 3. And then 5D. Now here's the thing. When you get to the D and the G, you're doing a bend release concept. Um, it's really up to you if you want to bend downwards or upwards. I mean, obviously, if you're up on the E, you have no choice but to go down. But you can have kind of room to play with when, when it's on the D and the G. 
so kind of go with the feel on that. A lot of times I'll bend away from the next string that's coming up, but we're going back to the same string. So, see, we're going back to the 5D. But just so you know, I'm bending down. And then uh, pick 3, 5, 3, 3 on the D string, but it's actually going to be pick, hammer, pull, pick. So we have... 337 kicks in with this. 13 on the B. Three times, rest, and then pick again, hammer to 15. Vibrato. Uh, riff 340 is 15th fret, three times, sliding to 13. Pick the 13 and slide back to 15. So. Alright, and then we're going to go. 15 on the B string. This is a uh, fast part and it's leading into more distortion right here too. Down up, down up. I put double dots so it's twice. So, down up, down up, down up, down up. But it's actually more than that. And you'll hear it. Just, I put it cetera. So it's actually more than two times. You're not going to want to count those. Just down up, go fast on the 15 B. Now the distortion's really at its highest point at 344. You're going to go 15 on the high E and bend it a whole step. Stop it and then do it again, but do a bend release pull to 13. And then 15 E vibrato. So. Okay, so then you'll go 13, 15, 15 on the E, but do a bend release on the 15 with the rest. 13, 15, 13 on the E, 15, 15, B, vibrato, slide down, slide up. It's in there. I don't know if you'll hear it, but it's in there. So it'll be like... You'll probably definitely hear the up one, but he goes down, up. All right, um, next, 351, you're going to see uh, a slide up to 15 on the high E. Um, I put fret 10, that's just a, a start point for your slide. You don't really hear that 10. But once you get to the 15, do a bend release pull to 13, so it's, it's cool. 15 E, vibrato, so 13, 12 on the E, and then go. 12, 13, hammer, 12, 13, 12, hammer, pull. So it'll go. So. Fifteen, thirteen on the B. And then 10 B. 355 time stamp. And he's speeding it up here. 7, 9, 10 on the G. Experiment with fingering. This is a alternate pick thing. It's an odd number, so you'll wind up going down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, so, uh, slow down. Seven, nine, ten, twice. Nine, ten, twelve, four times. Ten, twelve, fourteen, twice. So you got. Um, 13 high E, this is timestamp 358, you're going to do a bend vibrato, and then um, 13, 12, 10 on the E, 13 vibrato on the B, and then 13, 10 B, it's a pick pull, 12, 10 on the G, and that's down up, so... Prime example, um, Jay, of subgrouping smaller riffs. Just four notes there, right? Get used to it, man. Get to use, used to the down up being in there, you know? Um, and then 12, 10, pick, pull twice. Um, 12, 10, D, G, down up. And then 12, G. 
10, 9, 10, 12 on the G. Last page, page 3. 10, 9, pull off on the G. And 10, D. Timestamp 403. 12, pull off to 10 on the G. 12, bend release. And then 10, G. Up, down on a 10, 12, G, D. 13 B, pull off to 10, 12 G bend, 13 B, so we have, then 12 G whole, or half step bend, this part's a quick part too, it's four times of this. So uh, you'll go probably the best fingering two one three by the way, but experiment down and then down on ten B up on thirteen B and do that four times. If you have to take the bend off if it's too tricky and just practice, you know what I mean. And then add the bend. Um, ten E thirteen B. And then we got 12 G, um, half step bend again. He goes back to that same riff three times. Um, all right, so. Or 12 G, this is a cool run. He goes. Bend the 12 G, 10 on the B and E, down up. Kind of knuckle shift that. 13B, pull off to 10. 1310 on the E twice, pick, pull. 13B, so that's a cool riff too, just. 1013 E. So. 15E, whole step bend. 13E and then 412 comes in and this is the fastest part in the song. Very cool part. It's a chromatic thing. Um, and you kind of just want to go for it once again. It's down, up, down, up, down, up. He does this 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1 and he moves it up a half step at a time. 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2. And he does that concept um, all the way up to, up until you hit, I put repeat concept by going up one fret at a time until you reach fret 12 with your third finger. So it would be um, this. Actually, when you hit the 12th fret, um, you'll do it one time, 12, 11, 10. One time. So. Once you get there one time, then we just do uh, the three note concept, move it up a half step at a time, and I put that as well, repeat concept by going up one fret at a time until fret 20. So you'd be going... Right? Oops, keep forgetting. So, doubles until you get to fret 12, then singles, right? And it's all alternate pick. Once you hit fret 20, you're gonna, um, you're gonna bend eight times, whole steps. And that's 421 on your time step. And then the very ending is these unison bends that come in at 426. Um, this is how he ends the solo. 15B, 17G. You're going to pick them both, but bend the 17 on the G string a whole step. And that's the concept for all these. We're going to move them around. It goes... So 15B, 17G. When you do these, back it up with the middle finger to help stabilize that bend. I've got a floating tremolo, so... I have to kind of bend a little further because it's on springs and I, it makes it a little flat. If you have a fixed bridge, that's going to be better for this. Uh, 
whole step, 1917, same thing. 1820, 1719, 1517. So it's ascending, descending, and then the final one is 1012. Alright Jay, so now you got two solos man. You just gotta get one more Jay. So you guys can both do it at the same time. Thanks dude, appreciate it.